foreign investigators into complicated conflict zones where they've never been before and expect them in a matter of days to get on top of those cases. Until six months ago, the ICC Office of the Prosecutor had a protocol that said that their investigators were to spend no more than 10 days at a time in situ. So foreign investigators who by their own admission had never been to any part of Africa, in most cases, before they'd started their work, then were being told that you have only 10 days to arrive in northern Uganda, uh, in northeastern Congo, where you don't speak the language, you, you don't have a network of informants, and you have to quickly get up to speed. And then what the Office of the Prosecutor did was it then shared its investigators across neighbouring states. So the same investigators that were working in northern Uganda were also doing the Aturi cases in Congo. The prosecution investigators who were working in Cote d'Ivoire were also covering Mali. So they had a lack of expertise and they were totally overstretched. And then we wonder why this evidence is so flimsy in the courtroom. The Bagbo case is incredibly embarrassing for the Office of the Prosecutor because the judges had warned the prosecution 18 months ago at the confirmation of charges stage that their evidence was weak. The judges basically said to the prosecutor, your evidence amounts to very little other than human rights reports gathered by third parties and media reports. Why haven't you done your own investigation? How have you not had people on the ground gathering eyewitness testimony, documentary evidence, the kind of thing that any lawyer will tell you you need if you're going to build a convincing case? They warned them 18 months ago, and did they listen? No. When the case was finally brought, that was the same kind of evidence that the Office of the Prosecutor was deploying, and the judges gave it the short shrift that it deserved, and that case, that case was thrown out. 